protests at ICE facilities like GEO facility in Aurora. But now one pro-immigration group says they are taking their protest to the home of an employee. And Liz Gillardi explains why organizers feel it's the best way to get their message across. We've seen the protests in Aurora outside the ICE detention facility. During one protest, someone removed and vandalized an American flag, an act immigrant rights groups condemned. But now organizers say they're taking their message to the home of that facility's warden. And uh, this is the next step in, in our work towards changing um, the system and, and bringing justice towards uh, millions of, of families. We interviewed organizer Matthew Wozniak about this flyer posted on Facebook. The post from Abolish ICE says, join us in confronting a high level immigration enforcement official at their home and encourage people to canvas the neighborhood. We want to let the neighborhood know that this is who's living amongst them. Um, I would want to know. I sat down with ICE's acting field director for Colorado last week. He spoke after a letter addressed to the American public, hoping to clarify their role. Oh, we just want to say that we are doing our job. He expressed concern about recent attacks on ICE facilities and concern for his employees. The intent is, is really on the safety of our officers. So there's been a lot of rhetoric that has come out, uh, you know, on various things that our officers are either unsafe or they're not doing the right thing by the, uh, by the uh, uh, immigrant uh, population, and, and that is very much untrue. The group organizing the protest later this week disagrees and stresses the demonstration outside the home of a high-ranking official will not be violent. Liz Gillardi, Denver 7.